Hey fangirls and boys, this is Natalie and you're watching Haul Lot of Love. And today's video is a first impressions on the Kesha Rose Beauty Makeup Collection. So this collection launched a few months ago and I got it upon its release, but I haven't had a chance to play with it much, but today was the day where I definitely was inspired and I definitely wanted to really get into all of these products and really try out the quality and everything like that. So I came up with this makeup look. So this collection is, it's interesting because it's from Kesha Rose Beauty, but it seems more like a collaboration with Hip Dot because it's available on the Hip Dot website and it says a Hip Dot brand. So I'm not sure, I guess since it, it, it says a Hip Dot brand, it is its own brand, but it definitely feels like more of a collaboration. I'm definitely hoping that this isn't like a capsule collection. I'm hoping that she launches more with this. Just look at this packaging, it's so beautiful. This is the For The Win palette, it's super gorgeous. I would love to see more palettes come out of this collection. This collection also has a duo of a lipstick and a lip gloss, which I try in the video, as well as liquid eyeliners, a couple of which I try in the video. I'm a huge fan of Kesha. I actually saw her at Roseland Ballroom in New York City, which is now a closed venue. It's a smaller general admissions venue, or it was. I saw her there, I got free tickets from Paper Magazine. I went by myself just because I really wanted to go. I was really a huge fan. That was like right when her debut album came out or maybe a few months after that in 2010. So I got to see her and it was like super fun. She's a really good live performer, a lot of energy, you know, a lot of like acrobatics, just like fun stuff that she does on stage and her music is great. She's one of my favorite pop artists. I just love how outspoken she is. I love the way, especially with her in her more recent on her more recent albums how she blends different genres together like more like country vibes and but still kind of keeping like this like fun sing song rap kind of thing and her vocal delivery is just very unique she's definitely a really cool artist i feel like especially in the pop scene so i was definitely super excited to see her launch this line she was definitely very iconic when she first came out with her makeup looks i remember for the video we are who we are she had like this really cool blue lip which i thought was like super duper cool so she's always had a really cool look with her makeup so definitely a good celebrity to do a makeup line and i love all that this is a very colorful very fun makeup line i love how outspoken kesha is i love how she's become an advocate for women by confronting her abuser you know, legally and kind of taking a stand in that sense. I definitely admire that. That's like a really scary thing to do. So I'm a huge fan and this line, I was very curious to try it and check it out. So if you are interested in seeing how I got this look and seeing how the Kesha Rose Beauty makeup products perform, if you are interested in seeing that, then keep on watching. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I have the Kesha Rose FTW, so for the win palette right over here. I've had this for a while, I got it upon launch, but I haven't really played with it too much, so, and I have the full collection, so I wanna play with it today, and that's just what I'm gonna do. So this is what the palette looks like. It has this super cute, like, tassel on it. And this is what the inside looks like. Just a very fun, colorful palette. And I'm gonna be honest, I have no idea what I wanna do with this. So this palette has some mattes in it. It has some like metallic-y shimmers and one truly pressed glitter. So this is, this is fun. So many cool shades. Like there's like a kind of like a shimmery black shade, pressed glitter called TikTok. I think I wanna do something with this shade called Cannibal. This is like, true red in the palette and I have a red shirt on so I think we're gonna play with that a lot in this look. There's also a shade called pageantry which is like a lilac-y shade. Dinosaur which is like a lime green. So I'm gonna take a Morphe. This is the JS5 brush. It's just like a fluffy blending brush. I'm gonna go into the shade pageantry which is that lilac-y, the light lilac-y shade. I'm gonna use this as a transition. It's a pretty tone. A little pinky lavender moment. So how's everybody doing in the quarantine? I am on, I think it's like day 23 now. It's 
times are like really scary, you know, like especially if you read the news a lot and just you gotta be careful in general. Like it's really a legit serious thing going on. I'm just trying to take it day by day and just be happy for the health that I do have right now. And the fact that I'm able to work from home and like this retreat, like it's been forced upon me, but in a way it's welcome because I definitely don't like commuting to work and it's very definitely aggravates my anxiety to do that. So in a way, I definitely welcome a chance to be working from home for a long period of time. I don't miss going out that much. I mean, there are things that I do miss. I feel like once summer rolls around, it's going to be weird because even if this is over, it's going to just be there's going to be some leftover fear and paranoia in the air and also like just being practical and safe. Like we don't know even if, you know, we get the clear to go out, it's like this thing isn't really going anywhere. So it's like, I don't know if I'm gonna wanna do the same things that I would normally do in the summer, like going to the beach with a lot of people. And again, one day at a time, that's months away. I'm kind of getting used to the idea that like 2020 is canceled. Like at first I was like, I hope the summer is good. I also have tickets to see the Lady Gaga Chromatica Ball and that's like in August. So who knows? I mean, I feel like things should be kind of semi back to normal by then, but even still, I have no idea how I'm gonna feel then. That is the shade Pageantry blended above my crease. I think that that's really pretty. I was able to work the blend and it blended out really nicely. I'm gonna go into the shade Cannibal now, which is that true red in the palette. I'm gonna take my OCC smaller tapered blending brush and I'm just gonna put this in the crease. The colors in this palette are really pretty, very pigmented, so far anyways. I feel like applying makeup is like very calming, especially like just blending. I really want to play with this black shade. I feel like putting that on the lid is like, I'm going to regret it somehow, but I really, really kind of just want to do it. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna do like kind of like a spotlight halo cut crease type of deal in the center of my lid. I'm using ColourPop's Pretty Fresh Concealer and also one of their concealer brushes to do this. And I'm just gonna start this cut crease in the center of my lid and just bring it down. Have the top of it be a little bit more, a little bit wider than the bottom. I really just want to chill today. I didn't get to film this weekend, so like today. Like I'm just kind of committing to filming one video, which is this, which I've been wanting to do this video. So I'm excited to finally get to play with this makeup collection. It's that time of month and I'm just a little down because of everything going on. I don't know, it's weird, like I'm down, but I've been like, I'm happier than I've been in a long time just because everything has been put in such great perspective. Kind of making me realize what I really want out of life. Making me really grateful for every day because we just don't know. You don't know if you're gonna pull through this. I'd like to think, you know, if you're doing everything right and you're, you know, staying indoors and this and that. But we still have, you know, get groceries and stuff like that. So it's, it's a little scary. So that's my cut crease done. I think that's decent enough. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into the shade tonight, which is that sweet sparkly black shade. And I'm just going to pack this on with a Sephora Holiday 2018 flat shader brush. I'm just going to pack that where I cut the crease. These eyeshadows are very nice. I haven't used Hip Dot eyeshadows before. I know they're more of like an affordable brand. But these are like nice high quality shadows. They seem just as good as like the Glam Light palette that I tried. Or like PBH shadows. color gray, you know, all the legit ones. So that's what I have going so far. I think that black shade tonight is super pretty, it's super smooth, and of course I'm packing it on concealer, so I'm definitely getting that glitter payoff, which I really appreciate. I'm kind of like really, you know, just doing whatever in this look. I'm going to go between the shade Backstabber, which is kind of like a a burned eggplanty matte maroon purpley shade. Great description, huh? And then blow, which is like 
kind of like a violet blue kind of sparkle. I'm just going to try to like mix these colors. And I'm just going to cut this on either side of the where I cut the crease, just to kind of deepen that and blend that in a little bit more. So that actually looks pretty good. I can definitely see like the mix of the both of the colors, even though I use like a shimmer to do this and shimmers in this kind of capacity don't really work too well. But you know, with the deeper matte, it definitely has added depth and blended that cut crease in a little bit more. What's going on with the red? I'm going to put some more cannibal into the look, just like kind of on the outer, a little bit back into this inner area where it was before, along the top here, just to make sure that's still in the look. And I do have some fallout from the black, but everything's looking really pretty and really nice, on, really pretty on the eyes. The pigments are going where I want them to go. I think that this is looking really cool so far. Check it out. Pretty sweet. I'm liking it. It's an interesting combination of tones that I never would have thought to do before. So this collection also comes with a duo of eyeliners. It's actually like a four pack in a way because they are each double ended. These are called the Whatever Wherever Wands Water Precision Liquid Liners. There's a blue one, black. Black seems really nice and deep black. I'm not such a fan of colored eyeliners that are liquid and aren't black. I feel like they're just very like watery looking. We'll see if we can play with them a little bit because there's this other set over here. This was called Cowboy Blues, the blue and the black. And this one is called Stay Gold. So you've got this like kind of orangey gold shade. Yeah, it definitely has like a tiny little reflector shimmer in it, nothing too metallic. More just like a liquid orange. And then, yeah, this one's more metallic. You have like a yellowy gold. You can see it right there. So these are the four liners. I have some eyeshadow, but these are the four liners and they're pretty cool, pretty fun, different. I'm gonna go into the black liner and I'm just going to create wings on each of my eyes. Okay, the wings are done. They're pretty crooked, but again, whatever. What else? The liner is definitely nice and black. It's just, you know, my user error. Like sometimes I can do wings, sometimes I can't. I'm gonna go into the shade TikTok, which is the pressed glitter in the palette. And I'm just gonna pat this over the center of the lid just to intensify the glitter on with that black shade. Very pretty, very pretty. So that's the TikTok shade over top of the Tonight shade. I think that's really pretty. It adds a lot more glittery pop to it. And the Tonight shade already had some kind of like dark, like grayish, silvery kind of glitter. So it definitely complements it very nicely. I'm going to go into the more gold liquid liner. I'm just going to line the top of where I cut the crease. It's not going to show up too much. It'll just add a little definition. So that's the gold liner um, at the top where I cut the crease. Super subtle, you can't really see it, but it just adds a little bit of definition there. Doesn't really change the look too much, which I'm glad about. I'm gonna take the Urban Decay 24 7 Glide on Eye Pencil and LSD and just line my waterline with this. That's the shade LSD on my waterline. It complements it nicely. I'm gonna add some Fenty Mascara to the upper lash. I'm gonna go into the shade Honey here, which is like a peachy, like a peachy champagne pink. I'm just gonna put this in the inner corner with my, with my pinky. That's really cool. I really like that. 
that blended really nicely into the look. It's a good tone. Yeah, I like that. That really kind of pulled the look together, I feel like. Digging that. I'm going to apply lashes and I'm going to do the rest of my face makeup, concealer, foundation, blush, highlight, all of that good stuff. I'm going to do all of that off camera and I will be right back to finish the eyes and the rest of the look. Okay, so I am back. I am wearing the Flutter Lashes in the style Lovable. I think that they look really good and they were really easy to apply. I will list the rest of the makeup on my face in my description box below. Now I'm going to finish the lower lash line. I'm going to go into the shade Spaceship. This is just like a slightly olivey green metallic shade. And I'm just going to, I'm using my Alomar Cosmetics pencil brush and I'm just going to wet my brush a little bit with Avion facial spray. I'm just going to apply just the lower lash line. So that is the shade Spaceship on my lower lash line. I think that that eyeshadow is performing really nicely. It's very pretty. It's very metallic. I'm going to go into my Morphe. This is the M506 small, tiny, tapered blending brush. And I'm just going to go into the shade Boogie Feet. It's just like more of like a pumpkin-y orange shade. And I'm just going to blend that at the edge where I put Spaceship. Taking the smallest amount of pigment. So that is the lower lash line done with eyeshadow. Not super short matches the rest of the look, but I do kind of see that little bit of gold on the cut crease. That I blew where I put the eyeliner and it kind of like helps it blend out a little bit because it's more of like a warm tone goldy greedy thing going on in the lower lash line and on top it's like black silver red so just a lot of fun different colors I do think that that little pop on the uh, above the cut crease kind of pulls things together it's just like a very experimental look for me I want to say I actually do like it I think these eyeshadows are performing wonderfully which definitely helps like if they were poor performing eyeshadows this would be a huge mess right now I'm going to finish my eyes with the Fenty mascara on the lower lash so this is the eyes done they're really really fun very cool experimental look. I'm happy with it. I'm gonna go into this lip duo. This is the Rose Hip Oil Lipstick and pH Balance Plumping Gloss Duo. So this comes with like a nice true red lipstick and a color changing gloss. So that's the gloss and this is the lipstick. It's just like a very fun warm true red kind of shade. I'm going to take a little bit of the lipstick and I'm just going to put this in the center of the lip. And I'm going to be blending it out with my finger. It's a pretty shade. You can't really go wrong with a true red lip. And this is pretty cool. It like magnetizes back on. I love this color, this like tone. It's also the color of the eyeliners. It's just like a metallic orange packaging, which is really fun and unique. So that's the lipstick on the center of the lip. I think that, that looks pretty good. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna finish the look with lip gloss. I'm just gonna put that over my entire lip. This is a color changing lip gloss, so it's kind of like becomes like a pinky shade on the lips. A nice rosy scent to it. Not overly powering, not overpowering. So this is the lip done. I think that, that looks pretty. I wish I would have just lined my, like the center of my upper lip a little bit because it's kind of bleeding out ever so slightly. I think it's the lipstick that's doing that because that happened before I put the lip gloss on. But it's just a fun lip look. It's like a simple glossy reddish lip. So this is the completed look. I really love how it came out. 
I think this palette is super awesome. This packaging is really beautiful. It's like this like shimmery, shifty, metallic situation going on with like this moon and there's velvet detail on the name, both in the front, both in the front and the back, the tassel, just everything about it. And I really love these colors. I love how it kind of forces you to experiment. Honestly, I had no idea what I was gonna do going in with this, but I'm super happy with how it looks and I don't think I would have thought to pair these shades without being faced with this color scheme. So I really, really like this and I'm excited to do different things with this palette. I'm not sure how I feel about the range of mattes in this palette. I think they're a little bit limiting, but there's so many beautiful textures. And even if I wanted to mix this with like a different palette, it could do a lot of really cool things. So yeah, overall, I'm really happy with the eye look. It's like super glittery, which I absolutely love, of course. And the lip is really cute with it too. It's it's like a little pop on the lips, but it's not super overpowering. It kind of gives the eyes the room to shine. So yeah, I really love this look and I think all of the products performed really super well. I didn't have any problems with any of the products that I used. Anyway, that completes this video. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and have a good one. Bye guys.